Good evening, Nigerians. My name is Comrade Yakub Abrazak. I'm doing this voice note on this day, 6 July 2024. I come your way again this evening to address some cardinal issues in respect to our divine expectation. Of course, we have had several encounters on this grand pursuit. And this experience are what is causing some kinds of controversies in the grand community today. As such, if these are not adequately and properly addressed, can lead or causing continuous delay on this very expected grant from federal government of Nigeria. Before I move further, I want Nigeria to join me to give our unreserved and endless gratitude to our dear president, His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinibu, GCFRN. Indeed, your approval of a project of such magnitude through this our platform of common Nigerians to the poor Nigerians has not only proven your determination and commitment to elevate and better the lives of the poor masses, but also the leadership will to run an inclusive governance that will bring holistic development in Nigeria. Furthermore, continuous emphasis on the source of this grant cannot be overemphasized. As I said before, this very grant we are anticipating or expecting is federal government project. If there is any other grant available, I don't know. And I can't say anything about that. So we need to be focused and give maximum cooperation to the federal government of Nigeria and the disbursement committee to ensure smooth and successful disbursement of this grant. On this note, I would like to advise veteran in grant community. We must be guided in our actions. Unscrupulous write-ups and voice notes must be avoided at this point in time. Chief Ole, we need this money to get into our hands now. I want to educate you that this project of such magnitude cannot be released by the federal government without adequate measures put in place to checkmate the system. In case you don't know, there are spies among us who constantly give report to the federal government about the happening in grant community. Consequently, some of these our write-ups and voice notes has also contributed to the delay on the disbursement of this grant. In the same vein, I want to appeal to the federal government spy. As you are discharging your duties, emphasis should not be placed on the action of the few and insignificant numbers of people in grant community. Grant community is a small world filled with both positive and negative minded people. However, I want to tell you that the negative minded people are not even up to 10% of the entire populace. On this note, I'm still appealing and ask Nigerians to join me to appeal to this government spy. We know you and as a matter of fact, we know the role you are playing in ongoing disbursement process. We are aware that your unfavorable report against us in grant has led us to the persistent delay 
of the disbursement. As the atmosphere is calm with this, these few weeks, we are appealing to you to amend your report so that disbursement can take place. As you know, average households are passing through a lot in this country now. Even to feed is a problem. Come to talk of paying children's school fees. We are getting reports on daily basis from the poor Nigerians who are waiting for this grant as their last hope. With animal patience and perseverance, these people keep on praying and fasting on daily basis as they keep on hoping for this grant to come to limelight. Please have mercy on these people. Three days ago, I received a pathetic message from a household family who are dying of hunger. They sent me a video clip and their picture. I almost shed tears for them. Even this morning, before making this broadcast, I received calls about a family who has withdrawn four of his children out of five from school as a result of hardship in the country. So we are appealing to the government spies to have mercy on us and the suffering and dying poor masses. Allow, don't allow our past mistake and error to continue affecting us. The destiny of million Nigerians lie on this project. We hope you hear our cry and amend your report so that disbursement can take place. In addition, I'm standing on this mandate of over 20 million Nigerians in grant community to assure the federal government of Nigeria and the disbursement committee to go ahead and press this bunting. I the system is conducive since my last broadcast, 22nd July 2024. We are fully prepared and ready to give our maximum cooperation for smooth and successful implementation of this project. We have all it takes. Among us, we have experience skillful and expertise of various fields. Effective structure and strategical plan has been put in place to achieve maximum results. Pardon, my last broadcast was 22nd June 2024, not July. And that broadcast has brought peaceful atmosphere since then in grand community. Furthermore, I want to still use this medium to assure the federal government and the disbursement committee to fear not. Rather, they should expect celebration and gratification that will be blown all over the country. We are keen to passionately deliver this project to improve and boost production in the grassroots and as well brings holistic development in our dear country. In confidence, we believe after smooth and successful implementation of this project, the federal government will have no option, rather give us greater responsibilities in this country. More so, I cannot end this broadcast without appreciating the selfless sacrifices of the disbursement committee. We cannot undermine the effort they are putting in place to bring this project to limelight. And also, our destiny helpers, the people that linked us to this opportunity, they are putting the burden upon themselves, financial burden and otherwise, to see that this project 
is being executed in favor of the poor masses. We cannot appreciate you all, but God Almighty will reward you all abundantly, your generation in this life and hereafter. We shall remain grateful to you all, and your name will never be forgotten in our heart. As your effort is about to bring historical change in this our country, your name will be forever written in gold. In conclusion, words are not enough to express our appreciation and gratitude to this present administration led by our dear president, His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinibu. GCFRN. Our able and amiable Secretary General of Federation, and as well our honorable and distinguished Chief of Staff, and all the key actors in this administration, I said we are highly grateful for the political will and pivotal role you people are playing for this project to be executed in favor of the poor masses in Nigeria. As you all are working on the tenacity of our dear president, let the poor breathe. Thank you all. God bless Nigeria. God bless our dear president, His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinibu GCF -RN. God bless this Bosman committee chairman and the entire members of the committee. God bless our dear grand community from your ordinary president, Comrade Yakub Abrazak. Good night.